Ready? Okay. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Uh, we have another Dollar Tree haul I'm really excited about and I hope you will be too. So this is brand new. Um, I've never seen these hats before. They're called Hat Chapeau and they're kind of, I don't know, really light material. But I thought that was cute. For a dollar, I like the brim of the hat. And it has, wait, I want to make sure. Can you see it? The fitted Velcro to fit any size head, probably just about. And remember, we wear brim of our hat to our eyebrows. So, yeah, that's a cute hat. That'll go good with leggings or if I go to the grocery store and I don't feel like doing my hair. Um, they had other colors too. They had... I think they had tan, white, and blue. Okay, so we have a lot of new items. And wait till you see these for my grandchildren. And you should definitely get these for your kids and or your grandchildren or adults. These are Crayola. So name brand, Finger Paint Soap. Uh, I picked up every, I think these, I picked up every one I found in a different color. This one is Screamin' Green. Yeah. This one is Flamingo Pink. This one is Royal Purple. And this one, Radical Red. How fun are these? These are three fluid ounces, so they're pretty big and fun. And what a clean toy for the bathtub. Speaking of bathtubs, Lime Away, boy, do I go through this, right? We have a lot of bathrooms in this house. Sick, let's see. How many bathrooms? Let's see, two, three, four, five bathrooms. So yeah, one in each bathroom. Yep, with the toilet brush from the Dollar Tree in each and every bathroom. Then this Glade Bamboo Bliss air freshener. Ah, uh, this smells amazing. Let's spray it. Mmm, mm, it just smells fresh and clean. It says notes of bamboo and water, water lily. Yep, it's not floral. It smells, mmm, I don't know, like an Aber, Amber Crombie store. Remember what that used to smell like? It smells good. Not too feminine. Kind of has a masculine, like a men's cologne smell, if you know what I mean. Okay. Then I had to get my husband some shampoo, and mmm, I can smell it. You know what it smells like? It reminds me of cloves. Everyone knows what cloves smell like. It's that good, remember the clove gum, the Beachman? I think it was, it smells like that. And this smells like spicy apple, juicy green apple, infused with apple extract and vitamin E, and this is, a bigger size. It says new bigger size, better value. I like that. And then coconut oil nourishing cream. And there's nothing bad in here. It's water, cocoa, coconut oil, glycerin, sterile, alcohol, uh, da, 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 vitamin or mineral oil, Carborner, whatever that is, vitamin E, and Hindashian. I don't know how to say that. And then a little fragrance, but let's see. Oh, so look, it's creamy. Let's put some on. But summer's coming and I have to, I don't want any parabens in my moisturizer, so this is paraben free. 
Mmm, it smells like coconut. Mmm. Smells like a beach. So yeah, it's nice, nice and smooth. If you can see. Mmm, feels good. It's smooth. It goes on nicely. Not greasy either. That'll be good for after the tub. When you're still a little moist, you put it all over your body. Uh-huh. Put on your feet. Put some cotton socks on after. Put the pajamas on. And then I'm, I'm on the keto, you guys. So these are my little staple. If I'm hungry, I have a few of these. I know they're not everyone's favorite. I actually dip them in salsa. And I made a really yummy dip. I don't care if you're on keto or not. I made chicken the other night and I needed something with it because I baked it. I put salt, pepper, cumin on the skin um, and garlic powder. And I lined a large cookie sheet with parchment paper, threw it on there, baked it in the oven at 350 for probably an hour and a half. And the skin was so crunchy and good, but it needed, the meat was a little tiny bit dry, not bad, but it needed to be dipped into something. And when you're on keto, you can't have ketchup. So I thought, hmm, I know I have sour cream and I have this Chipotle Tabasco that's amazing on eggs. So I mixed the Chipotle Tabasco and the sour cream, stirred it up, brought it to my son. He loved it. But then I thought, hmm, it needs a little something else. Then I thought, aha, horseradish. Prepared horseradish, not the creamy. So I took like a teaspoon, put it in there, dipped the chicken in it. It was like an orangish color. Ah, uh, amazing. Like I was dipping the steamed broccoli in there, everything, and so was my son. Um, so you guys should try that. So it's just sour cream, whatever, there's no measurements. It's just, you know, sour cream, chipotle, Tabasco, really good on eggs, and prepared horseradish. You'll never find a better dip. I don't care. Let me know what you think if you guys try it. Let's see. Oh, I found the cutest books. Look. Uh-huh. Don't these look like high-end books? And there's four to the series, but I was only able to find two. And this one is Listen to Mommy. Yes. Oh, and back to the keto. I'm down 20 pounds so far. It's coming off slow. I started January 1st, so still, it's, I'm losing. Maybe a pound a week or two pounds a week or whatever. So this is Listen to Mommy. It says, Little Bear looks out the window. Everything is white. Aww. Take your scarf, his mommy says, as he rushes outside. He says, bye-bye, mommy. And then here's more. I love the pictures. I love the hard. I can't tear the pages and little kids can pick these up and, and look at them. Adorable. And this one is play nice. It has a cow. It says, if you're bored, just use your imagination to play. Look how little cow does it. Oh, he has friends. Aw, I don't have that many friends. I think I have two. You know how when you weed people out after? Yeah, you gotta weed. You gotta pull the weeds. You do. I don't have time for people. I have too many grandchildren, right? Well, I have time for you guys. And you guys have time for me, obviously. Okay, this one is meal time. If you watched a previous video, these are the learn to sign sign language videos and i think it's good for parents too this one it's time for dinner and i like to help i set the plates with dad so here's a little picture and it shows the sign for dad oh my gosh what's this one i pull my chair from the table to sit down and this one's a sign for chair yeah Cute. So I, I need, the only one I'm missing is the bath time one. So here's another one, playtime. So let's see what's going on here. 
It's time to go outside and play with my dog, Poncho. Dog. Aw. That's so cute. I play with my cat, Goldie, too. Let's see what the sign is for cat. Oh, look what the sign is for cat. Huh. So cute. So these are going to my daughter, Julia, and her little girl, Marietta, who's two months old. Julia reads to her every night. And Julia loves the Dollar Tree book. She said they're very good quality, very good stories. Then I needed to buy a birthday. You know how you need to buy a birthday egg sometimes? This is a have a fantastic birthday. It's a shark. Sparkly shark, gray shark. What is the side? Just more of the shark. He goes all the way around and then he goes to that way. And let's see if this one, oh yeah, he's the same over here. So cute. And I like that they have the blue matching handle. For the bag. Yep, so I picked that up. And oh my gosh. So now my husband's on keto and he lost 14 pounds in two weeks. No kidding. And he drinks beer in the garage. A lot of beer. But he likes this apple juice. And this is only one carb. So on keto, you count your, car you count your carbs. You give yourself 20 a day. So and it's only five calories, but you guys, this tastes just like apple juice. If you're having an adult beverage, maybe vodka in this with some ice, that would be good. Because these need to drink sometimes. I'm a bad drinker, I get a headache, I can't. Everyone wants me to drink, but not everyone. My husband likes me to have beer with them, but I can't because I get a headache. But I'm going to Vegas soon and I will have some cocktails there. Um, this is a, a must. So this is really good beef jerky. It's original. There isn't any MSG, which I'm super allergic to. There isn't any MSG in these either. I was really surprised. All there is in the pork rinds, pork rinds and salt. A very simple recipe. Yeah, and these, how many carbs are in these? Just curious total carbs by five grams and there's one gram of fire fiber so you subtract the five grams from the one gram of fiber you subtract the one gram of fire from the fiber from the five grams of carbs so four net total carbs so you, this is four so that's a snack that's a one snack and I'm I every time I go there I buy this the power blend nuts this is a really good uh, mixture of nuts. And nuts are expensive. This has salted peanuts, salted almonds, pistachios, filberts, and salted walnuts. And this is how many, two, three servings. So there, there's a lot in here. It's probably like one of those little cans, but these are better, better quality. And then I bought another one. I forgot. So those are good. I would highly recommend these. They have different varieties. They have a sweet honey one. Don't do that if you're on keto. You don't need the sugar anyway. Just don't do it. Even if you're not on keto. Oh my gosh. So they had this big table. You know when you walk in front of Dollar Tree, sometimes they have video and books. Well, they had some really good books. I had to get them. I had to get them. This one is... The Ice Cream Queen of Orchard Street. Uh-huh. So this girl in 1913 flees Russia for New York with her family only to be crippled and abandoned in the streets. Taken in by a tough, loving Italian Isis peddler. Only through let's see, cunning and wit. When she falls in love with Albert, they set off together across America in an ice cream truck to see Seek their fortune. Slowly, she transforms herself into Lillian Dunkel, the ice cream queen of America. Oh my gosh, how adorable. A love story with ice cream. I can't wait. Okay, what's this? I saw this for the cover because it looks like a coffee cup and I'm, I drink coffee all day long. 
This is Sophia of Silicon Valley. And this one. During the heady years of the tech boom, incorrigible, incorrigibly Frankie, Frank Sophia Young lucks into a job that puts her directly in the path of Scott Kraft, an, an eccentric CEO of Treehouse, a studio whose animated films were transforming Hollywood forever. Overnight, Sophia becomes the unlikely nerd whisperer. Whether her success is due to the dumb luck, her savage assertiveness, her insightful fitness learned from dealing with her traditional Taiwanese immigrant mother, or a combination of all three, Sophia's ra rarefied position allows her finally to shine through. Okay, so kind of a love story, yeah. And it has good reviews. How much was this one? This one was $26.99. Again, I don't know where, do you guys know where they get these books? Um, and this one, I can't find it. Oh, $29.99, what? Okay, I paid a dollar, so it doesn't matter. It's kind of fun though to see what, you know. Okay, this is called The Coincidence Maker. They had a lot of books, many, many books, but I'm picky about what I bring home. I would only bring home a book that I would read, and I do read them. This was $26.99. On this one says, what if the drink you just spilled, the train you just missed, or the lottery ticket you just found was not just a random occurrence? Oh. What if it's all a part of a bigger plan? Hmm. What if there's no such thing as chance encounter? What if there are people who don't know determining our destiny? Wait a minute, let me reread that. What if there are people we don't know determining our destiny? And what if they are even planning the fate of the world? Enter the coincidence makers. Guys, Guy, Emily, and Eric, three seemingly ordinary people who work for a secret organization devoting to creating and carrying out coincidences. What the rest of the world sees as random occurrences are, in fact, carefully orchestrated events designed to spark significant changes in the lives of their targets. Lovers-to-be, scientists on the brink of breakthroughs, struggling artists starved for inspiration. And when an assignment of the highest level is slipped under Guy's door one night, he knows it will be the most difficult and dangerous coincidence he's ever had to fulfill. But not even a coincidence maker can see how this assignment is about to change all of their lives and teach them the true nature of fate and free will and the real meaning of love. Who wants to read this after me? I think this looks interesting. Here's the back. Huh. So that's it. That's what I got for you guys. What do you think? Give me a grade. I don't know. I think it's a good, good, useful haul. I don't buy things I don't use, so I don't waste my money, even if it's not up. Like, for instance, this is cute, right? I would wear that. Would you guys wear that? Yeah. Summer's coming. I'm going to go fishing. Yeah. I love to fish. Okay, you guys. Have a great one. Thanks for watching. Like. Like and subscribe if you want or comment. I'd appreciate it. It helps my channel. Have a great one.